Hey everyone, do you have pain behind your kneecap that's coming from a cartilage injury behind your knee? Here's a knee joint right here and there's a the kneecap and I'm talking about right back in there. That kneecap sits on the thigh bone right here and there's cartilage on the thigh bone that could be the problem too. It's hard to tell the difference. But if you've got pain back there, I'm gonna show you today how to move your kneecap so that you can get some pain relief, get some more mobility, as well as set up the cartilage in that knee joint to move better and heal so that you're not dealing with a cartilage injury for the long term. My name is Dr. David Minoff and I'm a specialist physical therapist here at El Paso Manual Physical Therapy. And this channel here is dedicated to helping people stay healthy, active, and mobile while avoiding an unnecessary surgery, injections, and pain medications. Please subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any, on any of the helpful videos that we upload every single week, teaching you to move better, to exercise right, and just great tips on the health of your joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments, and cartilage as we're talking about today. So let's get into it. You need to be able to move your kneecap if you've got a cartilage injury in your knee. So here's how you do it. You gotta find a place to sit where you can put your leg up. A couch works fantastic for this. And your knee needs to be relatively straight. It's okay if it's a little bent. The reason for it is because when you bend your knee, your thigh muscles right here, the quads, they, they tighten up a bit relative to when your knee's straight. But when they tighten up, it pulls the kneecap into the groove on the thigh bone and doesn't let you move it very well. So it just needs to be in this position so your kneecap can be a little looser. Then with your hands, you're going to make a circle shape just like so. And you're going to use the edges of the circle. It might be your fingers more so, or your thumbs, or the this part of your hand right here, kind of the, where the web space is close to. You're going to use that to move the kneecap around. And it's really simple. I'm gonna, you're going to have to hear the sets and reps and how frequently to do it here in a second. But let me just show you first how exactly to move your kneecap. So you're just going to grab it like so. It doesn't matter which hand is, is where, as long as you're making that circle shape. And just surround the kneecap and just gently compress it, not too hard because the edges of your kneecap can be flared up. Sometimes you can get tendonitis in either the top or the bottom or irritation on the sides. And you're just going to slide it down and slide it up. Start gentle first. If we talk in terms of percentages, zero to 100%, don't go 100% right away in any direction. You wanna just start at like 10, 20, 30, work your way up towards 100% and stop. Do not pass whatever points you're at if you're getting pain. You're going to cause more irritation in your cartilage and potentially flare up the problem when you're trying to make it feel better. More pain here is not better. You've got to do things that feel good for your kneecap cartilage. So once you're here, you're just gonna wiggle it down and just, we call it oscillation. It's just kind of bounce here and I'm shoving that kneecap with this edge of my hand down like so. And then I'm gonna pull with these parts of my fingers upwards like so. So you're just gonna move it down and move it up about 10 reps. And there's no magic to this as far as the number of, of um, reps and sets you'll do right away. I'll tell you where you do need to think about it here in a second, but if we're just talking about you know one set it could be 10 reps it could be 20 reps the idea is you're just moving it up and down and i'm going to go all the way down and all the way up or you can bounce down and bounce up it doesn't really matter just as long as you're being gentle and it feels relatively good for your knee not painful to some people this feels strange not necessarily painful just it's an odd sensation because they don't really move their kneecap or grab it some people get grossed out by their own joints and and you know muscles and bones and all that so if that's you, it's not that it's hurting. If it's not hurting, you're good. Just deal with the, the oddity of this. The other direction that you need to think about going is sideways, in and out. Now, some people get concerned about this, especially if they've had kneecap dislocations. If you've had your kneecap dislocated, then you are susceptible to shoving it out of position. So I would avoid going sideways here. But if you've never had that happen to you and you've never come close to it, even if you've had an x-ray where they said your kneecap is shifted sideways, if you've never actually felt it dislocate, you're probably going to be just fine doing this. So then you're just going to grab the kneecap and push it with these edges of your hand, just outwards gentle. Like I said, start with 5-10%, inwards gentle, and work your way up on how much you can shove it out. Now, in healthcare, there are tests where you smash, you smash the cartilage here by pressing down, don't do that. I'm just letting you know, don't, when you're pushing with the circle here, don't end up on top of your kneecap because you're gonna smash the cartilage down on itself and possibly irritate your cartilage. 
And then there's another test where you shove the kneecap all the way inwards or outwards and you get the kneecap to almost come off the bone like you're going to you know, begin to dislocate it. And you can actually poke under the, the cartilage there. So just be careful you're not going too far and causing any pain. Let pain be your guide here. You feel some pain, you need to stop. You're going too far or giving it too much. Or it could be that you've already done enough too. In other words, you need to stop for the time being. So shove that kneecap outwards, shove it inwards, go up and down. You can make little circles if you want as well. And as far as frequency, here's, here's what you need to pay attention to. If you're having a lot of irritation in your cartilage right now, you've got a fresh injury, you've got some swelling, that's a sign that it's, it's more fresh or it's more irritated. Maybe it's been there for a while, but you, you're still getting swelling. Then you need to do this very frequently. I would be doing this every hour for about two to three minutes each hour. Wherever you are, just make it a habit that every hour you bring your leg up and you're wiggling around your kneecap because that stimulates the cells inside the cartilage behind your kneecap and on the front of your thigh bone to heal. It gets fluid inside the, the cartilage as well. It circulates the fluid in your knee joints and it allows healing to be stimulated so that you can fill in any injuries with scar tissue, which is good. You want the injured cartilage to scar down, just like if you were to cut your skin, you want to get a scar eventually. Um, as long as you're not doing anything wrong to your knee joint, you should scar down the way that your body is designed to so that you can heal the cartilage and get back to doing the things that you love to do. Now, if you're more on the tail end of an injury or it's not that severe, you never really got that bad to begin with, you're not really having any swelling, just some occasional pain in your kneecap right behind your kneecap where the cartilage is at, then you probably need to just do this a few times a day, like sometime in the morning, during the day, and before you go to bed would be ideal. If you've got limitations in your knee, like you can't bend it all the way and you can't straighten it out all the way, then you've definitely got to move that kneecap. Um, you know, if it hurts, don't push into pain, like I said, but if you don't have any pain and you can't bend your knee all the way, your kneecap could be limiting you from going all the way. So I would loosen up the kneecap in that instance as well. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you've got any questions whatsoever, drop them in the comments. We're happy to answer them. We get to them about once a week, sometimes more. And if it was helpful for you, please give us a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos that we post every single week. Best of luck to you in your knee pain. Bye-bye.